Often the question is asked, how do we go into the instrumentation setup and change settings like, for instance, hard bearing, soft bearing, teach mode and these things. So let's launch our software. We click our icon. We see our splash screen. Uh, just to get familiar, we have our calibration sticker where we see the calibration date and due date. We see the software version and we see whom it is licensed for. We will uh, click start. It goes through a diagnostics mode. Of course, in our demo, we just simply skip that and click agree. We can, if you want to, enter a operator name. And then we go and go into the broader setup screen. So in, in these screens, in all of these screens, we can make a right click with our mouse anywhere in the screen, or we can point and aim for that M in Balance Master and click there. So let's click on the M, which lets us go into the instrumentation setup. It will ask for a password. If you have one, enter it. If not, leave it blank. Click OK. And that gets us into a screen called Instrumentation Setup. And by the way, each screen in the software has a title bar and it tells you exactly what screen you are in. So we will never be confused. In that screen, we can go to several other screens. We can go to a screen called Hardware and we do this now. And in this screen in the top left, we can first of all set our machine type. For instance, if it's a hard bearing machine like a Schenk or a Hoffman, or a soft bearing machine like an IRD, or a teach mode machine where we want to just have a very good result for a particular rotor and use rotor specific calibration. We can also set according to our machine capability if the machine can run in forward only or reverse only or both directions. Um, we can do a few other settings in that screen, but we are just now in, uh, interested in setting it to hard bearing mode. And then we can look around what we do in hard bearing mode. We click OK in the screen. We are back in the instrumentation setup screen and we can go to calibration. And here we can say we now want to calibrate the machine. That needs to be done, of course, only once, maybe every year, depending on your uh, quality um, uh, structure. And we say enable automatic calibration. When we do this and click OK, we come back into the rotor setup screen. And now it, we get a message here saying the calibration mode is active. Make a rotor setup for the test rotor and click start balancing. Well, we already have a setup for our test rotor. In this case, it's an ARP proving rotor 50 pound. We do have all the settings correct in here. So we simply click start balancing. Uh, in calibration mode, our RPM display is green. That's a visual indicator that we are in calibration mode. And the averaging is automatically switched off. So we have time to bring the rotor up to speed. And when we are happy with that, we either click averaging on or click start over here. It goes through the measure cycle and measures the test rotor as is. It now automatically, as you can see, it automatically has applied our zeroing function. It says zeroing on down here. And it says now attach both calibration weights to the test rotor, one in each plane at the same angle. So we do this in our demo, we pretend to do this and we click next run and we make the next run with the test masses attached. Again, the averaging is automatically switched off so that we have time to get the rotor up to speed, make sure everything is good. We click averaging on, we measure, and now we have a result with a zeroed out test rotor and both test masses attached. Um, we now click the polar diagram and tell them what test weight we use. Let's say we used 16.522 gram at zero degrees. We click OK and it calculates the factors we need for this calibration. We accept them and our system is calibrated. We click new rotor. Calibration is done. If we go back into our setup, remember right, uh, right click anywhere in the screen asking for a password, go into the calibration screen. Now we do have these calibration numbers in our calibration data field here. So this machine is now calibrated. And if you would now make a run, we click start balancing. The RPM display is no longer green. It is now white, uh, which indicates a calibrated machine. And we have a result. We can make a next run and we pretend we have um, done some corrections on the rotor. So the result is now a little different than before. Uh, and we can do this and look at this one circle with the one in it and over here also. This was our result just now. This is our new result. So we have improved from here to here. And on the right, we have improved from here to here. 
We are still not in tolerance, so we make another run and measure again. And now we can see, actually, when you look careful, three dots. The very first one, the one from just now, and the new one. So we see and have a nice optical um, indication of, of how we are approaching our target here in the center if we are doing the right thing with adding or removing mass. So this is how you go into the instrumentation setup. Let me go back to the rotor screen, new rotor. We are in the rotor setup screen. And again, either point to the M or make a right click. Enter the password. You can be in the instrumentation setup screen. From here you go into hardware or into calibration. And of course, if you have the pro version, you can do a few more things. You can set up a complete uh, URR test, UMAR test for a certain machine and it will guide you through this and you can do all your nice tests according to ARP and it takes the data for you and uh, records it and uh, it prompts you what to do with your test masses and there we have a, a beautiful and fast and efficient way to test this machine and the and with the test rotor according to ARP. In the next video we will probably look into recalling a rotor name and um, either by using the open button or drop down menu. But so far we have seen how to go into the instrumentation setup and the hardware and the calibration screens.